Here we have a problem involving molarity. The question is, a 615 milliliter solution contains 72.6 grams of dissolved NaCl. What is the molar concentration, the molarity of the solution? The molar mass is given as 58.44 grams per mole. Welcome to Hovercraft Physics and Chemistry for two sample problems related to molarity. So the first thing we need to know about molarity is that it's a ratio. It's a ratio of moles of solute, that's what's being dissolved, per liter of solution. If I want to calculate the molarity of a solution, I need to know how many moles of solute are present and the volume of the solution. I'm given the volume of the solution here in milliliters, and molarity is always expressed in moles per liter. So I'm going to go ahead and convert 615 milliliters to liters. If you're not sure of how to do that, this is how I would set it up. 615 milliliters times the conversion factor that relates liters to milliliters. One liter, of course, is 1,000 milliliters. So to do the conversion, I'm going to take 615 times 1, which is just 615, and divide by 1,000. I'm just moving the decimal place three spaces to the left. So my solution has a volume of 0.615 liters. Now I need to know how many moles of solute are present. I'm given the mass in grams, so I'll need to do a grams to mole calculation first. 72.6 grams of NaCl is the given mass. Again, I'll use a conversion factor. This time I want to end in moles and cancel grams. I'm given the molar mass here in grams per mole. So it's 58.44 grams of NaCl in one mole. Here I'll be dividing 72.6 by 58.44. That value is 1.24 moles. Now I know how many moles are dissolved in the solution, and I know the volume in liters, so I can go ahead and calculate the molarity. Again, molarity is always a ratio of moles of solute per volume of solution. So I'm just going to take my mole amount, 1.24 moles of NaCl, and divide by the liter amount, 0.615 liters. That's the volume of the solution. Dividing those numbers gives me 2.02 .02 moles of NaCl per liter of solution. Most often you would just write this as 2.02 .02 M. M means molar or molarity. The next problem reads as follows. A 2.30 M, that's pronounced molar. So a 2.30 molar solution of hydrochloric acid, HCl, is to be produced with a volume of 1.80 liters. What mass in grams of HCl must be present in the solution? We're given the molar mass of HCl as 36.46 grams per mole. If that wasn't given, you'd need to go to the periodic table to add up the molar masses of hydrogen and chlorine. So when we see the symbol capital M, that just means molar or molarity. So this solution needs to have a concentration of 2.30 moles of HCl per one liter of solution. But we don't have one liter of solution. We have 1.80 liters of solution. So we'll need to use that molarity ratio to figure out how many moles of HCl would be in this particular solution. I start with the given value of 1.80 liters. That's the amount of solution that we're given. Again, the capital M here means moles per liter. It's the concentration of the solution. I'm going to use that as a conversion factor to figure out how many moles of HCl I would need in this particular solution. Again, the concentration needs to be 2.30 moles of solute, in this case HCl, the substance that's being dissolved, in one liter of solution. All I need to do is multiply 1.80 times 2.30. That comes out to 4.14. Again, I've canceled liters of solution, 
And now I figured out how many moles of HCl would need to be dissolved in this particular solution. But the problem asks for mass in grams, so I need to do one more conversion from moles to grams for HCl. So I'll take my value from the previous step, 4.14 moles of HCl, and I'll use the molar mass as a conversion factor. I want to end up in grams. So I'll set up the conversion factor as 36.46 grams of HCl. per one mole. That'll cancel moles, and I'll end up in grams. I need to take 4.14 times 36.46. That value is 150.94 grams of HCl. To keep it consistent with the problem, I'll round that to 151 grams for three significant figures. So you can see, when doing calculations involving molarity, the most important thing to remember is the definition of molarity. It's the moles of solute per liter of solution. You can thus use molarity as a conversion factor as needed. If you have any questions, please post them as a comment below. And thanks for watching.